Vegan. A word championed by some as a cure-all for the world's environmental, ethical, and health issues, and critiqued by others who see it as a narrow-viewed approach of food systems. It has quickly moved into the spotlight as a contentious issue across a broad range of communities. Even so, variations on vegan diets, such as Meatless Mondays, have become more widespread as the negative impact of the way we raise livestock has become clear. With vegan eaters being cast as finger-wagging activists and those that subscribe to a meat-heavy diet as heartless animal killers, it's important to understand where veganism is going and how we can bridge the ideological gap between these groups. And caught up in all of this is the issue of climate change. So when talking about veganism, we need to interrogate whether or not veganism is truly the answer to mitigating climate change as movies like Cowspiracy claim. This makes animal agriculture the number one contributor to human-caused climate change. Eaters are drawn to veganism or a herbivorous diet void of any animal products for a number of reasons. Among them are cruelty towards animals and health benefits. But today, I'm going to solely focus on the environmental effects of veganism as a driver for eating plant-based foods. In terms of environmentalism and climate change mitigation, veganism is effective in lowering one's personal carbon footprint. Part of the reason for this is the large amount of emissions produced by the meat industry. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, livestock emissions account for 14.5% of total global greenhouse gas emissions. A majority of these emissions come from ruminants like cows, who often require more feed, produce more waste, and need higher amounts of energy input than smaller animals like chickens. In addition, the meat industry has led to deforestation in the name of more land to raise cattle. And as a result, this has led to a decrease in the Earth's capacity to capture and sequester carbon. But despite the high impact of meat production on the environment, going meatless has not been embraced by all. Strictly from an environmental standpoint, some argue that veganism is not appropriate in some parts of the world because it fails to use the available land efficiently. In Peters et al.'s study in the Alimenta journal, for example, they reveal that a strict plant-based diet would feed less people than other diets like a dairy-friendly vegetarian diet in the United States because it would fail to make use of perennial grasslands typically used for grazing. Perhaps even more importantly, being vegan is not a possibility for everyone. For the 23.5 million people living in food deserts in the United States alone, Fresh produce and a wide variety of plant-based proteins are simply not available. For low-income people, buying specialty vegan products is often not an option. For some people of color, food traditions, including those that involve meat, are an important connection with heritage and a means of resisting assimilation and oppression. Despite these challenges of maintaining a fully vegan diet, veganism is not framed as a form of activism or an aspirational diet, but as an identity. You don't do vegan, you are vegan. This means that any consumption of animal products relegates people to a non-vegan status, which tends to push many from any kind of vegan movement and deters others from attempting a vegan diet. As the vice president of the Humane Society Farm Animal Welfare Department points out, getting people to eat less meat may be easier than getting people to eat no meat. And you could probably spare more animals doing that. From an environmental standpoint, this means eating less meat from places like feedlots and instead investing in the occasional meal of meat raised from ranchers that employ practices like restorative grazing, which by mimicking the grazing patterns of other large grass eaters like buffalo are helping to restore perennial grasslands globally, ultimately returning the ability for grasslands to capture carbon by healing the land and the soil. But this also means understanding what is appropriate for your local food system. For some, there are just too many barriers in place to follow a strict plant-based diet. In terms of the environment, going vegan then doesn't necessarily have to mean giving up meat for the rest of your life. That could be a reality for a few. But for others who lack access to viable produce and meat alternatives, it could instead be an aspiration, a goal to work towards. Just because you ate a piece of chicken doesn't mean that you now have to revert back to constantly eating meat. 
which means that instead of a blanket no meat approach, we need to unpack the concepts of veganism and apply them in contextually appropriate ways. Ones that recognize the strengths and obstacles of local food systems in order to ultimately benefit both its people and its environment. This video was made possible in part by the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. If you're interested in helping me grow this channel, head on over to Patreon and pledge a small amount of money for every video I release. In return, I'll send you gifts like a handwritten thank you note or an Our Changing Climate sticker. As always, if you like what you just saw, share it around and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.